I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is suck. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Edward? Hello? Uh, we have a great <laughs> guest today. Uh, he has a comedy special coming out on 800 Pound Gorilla's YouTube channel, and it's called Wolf Pup. He's a friend of mine, from friend of ours, from way back. Give it up. For Nick Callis. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> you kind of did that as if you were bringing me on stage, and I literally had yeah. like a sense yeah. memory trigger where I was expecting to hear applause. I love it. I love it. I, was like, I like to set the, the guest up for disappointment right away. Yeah. Like, yeah, like they just charge you and then just feel humbled. Nick just starts going into crowd work. How we doing over here? This dude, look at this couple over <laughs> here. You guys, how long have you guys been together? <laughs> Nick, what's the worst day job you've ever had? Honestly, it's a toss-up between all of them, <laughs> but I'm going to have to go with offloading the trucks at Kmart. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, you wearing one of those those, bra those back braces? I could have and should have, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, all right, this is so great. Let me jump into this with you now. You're an uh, in-shape guy, but you're not move huge appliances size no because those guys aren't in shape they're a shape but they're yeah. not <laughs> but you know like the force though <laughs> yeah well here the force meets immovable object <laughs> <laughs> no the, the guys that move furniture look like furniture yes oh yeah you gotta be a big burly dude yeah yeah because it came out you're moving boxes what? filled to the brim with shit yeah and it's everything so there's there's hard line and soft line and so soft line is like boxes full of clothes so mm -hmm. it's never going to be heavy or whatever and then there's like you know like parts of a washing machine or whatever it's just like you know hard line soft line is that yeah. inside talk yeah, yeah it's, oh, i love that it's, uh, yeah. it's industry stuff yeah, some jargon <laughs> can i get a little context uh where where is this taking place so part of the country uh, bergen county new jersey so like north jersey oh okay so like paramus mall kind of yeah, stuff yeah right yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. right by that so there's a kmart in my town which now is a target i think it's been a target for like Five years maybe Kmart dropped off unless it's yeah. one of those giant ones right no that's the thing there's only like a couple left and they're like the giant ones but yeah. we had a Kmart forever like and it was great like you, know, you just go get everything in Kmart <laughs> you get like milk and batteries and like whatever you need so and a gun and a gun actually we didn't no it wasn't like Walmart where you could I get know, you could get like a bow and arrow but, <laughs> yeah. but you can't get a gun <laughs> You like you can kill bow. people, but it's gonna take a time. You, you, <laughs> you can, can buy, get a BB gun. You can yeah. get one of those BB yeah. guns you can buy a for sure. Child's clothing and right. also a crossbow. Yeah, right. you can get like a charcuterie board and Legos. <laughs> Kmart. And then you also see like a little kid riding around on a huffy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. straight up. <laughs> so it's like, you know, why it's do like you get the job though? Why are you like I need a job and that that's the job? So, okay, so here's what. So well, my my family is uh, like Greek immigrants, so you have to have a job. Like yes. I had a job from the time I was like 14, at least a summer job, like 13, 14 on. My brothers and I like always had jobs. And it was not about like, I want you to have your own spending money. It was about like, you just have to have a job. Yeah. Because also, what the fuck are you going to do when you're 13? In the summer, every day. Like, when I was like, get a job. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, fill that time. I want time. you here every day. It's, I think a lot of parenting, too, is like just something – not drugs so it's like yeah. you have to play soccer i don't like soccer well it's crack if you don't yeah. Seriously. <laughs> like, so i was like you gotta have a job and it was also i think it was uh the summer going into college and the kmart was like a mile from my house and honestly the reason why i worked at kmart is i had quit or been fired from pretty much every business within like a 60 mile radius so you had a of hanging up of nick like oh don't hire this fucking guy like what, what was the last thing you were fired from <laughs> bro okay i mean here's the thing I, don't hire this he, kid no matter what his greek mom says to you it's your old kid in the unemployment <laughs> office yeah i don't know nobody's hiring i don't know what to say <laughs> I jumped all over this town. <laughs> you gotta go to another town. Dude, like, I have had... Take your shit two towns over, Callus. <laughs> I have had, like, more jobs than, like, fucking Snoop Dogg, dude. Like, I truly, like... And also, my my younger brother, like, he he got off a bit easier because he's a baby. So, like, my mom, like, didn't... Like, he had, he was, yeah. like, a lifeguard when he was in high school yeah. and shit like that. Yeah, but, like, yeah. my older brother and I... We had to, like, work at restaurants because my family owns a diner in Jersey. So, like, uh -huh. I grew up in that diner. I, like, worked in that diner. 
and then uh, the business side uh, was taken over by my grandfather's protege and he passed away. So then I was like working in other places. Um, but I've probably worked in like 12 restaurants, including like, like TGI Fridays, Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, like three different diners, um, a couple like, you know, really nice restaurants. Like bussing or ser- like service? Uh, waiter, sometimes waiter. serving, sometimes bussing, okay. depending on like how nice the restaurant yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like, I bartended at one. I have never taken a uh, bartending class. I don't know anything about anything, but they just were like, do it. Yeah. So yeah. I did it. Well, like yeah. lunches? Were you doing like yeah, bartending yeah, on like yeah, lunches? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, it w- basically what it means is just chat up a milf sure and pour her more oh my of god the wine she points to everything that hot chicks do if you're an attractive man you do just on a way smaller scale yes you cannot make as much money when yeah. it comes to being hot men cannot make as much money as women no and i love how it's never brought up <laughs> well, never, yeah, right all the places yeah, yeah. we get to shit <laughs> yeah. having more money getting paid more <laughs> patriarchy what about Hot guys that want to fucking well, get the same hot guy gigs as hot chicks. It also, like, doesn't matter. And I've had this, like, confirmed. No woman that I've ever dated has, like, been interested in me because of how I look. It's only ever been a bonus. Yeah. To, for them. No, and, same. And it's like, they're like, the the thing that they love about me or the reason that, that we end up together is something way deeper than how I look. Yeah. And... It's not even the f- like because here's the thing when you talk about like looks and like what matters about it really people say like oh what matters is you yeah but it's not the first thing that it doesn't matter first no. the first thing is what you look like yeah you and gotta then, get in the door yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. people people have sex with people because of how they look and then get to know them and they go oh I don't want to see you yeah. anymore but not on nobody goes oh, your personality is so good I'll fuck you like that's, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah the personality never gets you laid but it gets right. you it, at, it won't get you laid, but you'll get asked to stay. Sure. That's, that's all yeah. the personality is good for. It's the grappling hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. But looks is the trigger. But so, don't you wish you could just earn money off your looks? Oh, my like, God. Like, even a big dick. Big dick makes more money than looks. If what? you say to people in a bar, I have a 10-inch dick, and they're like, can we see it? And even straight <laughs> dudes will want to see it. <laughs> What you job could was easily, this? You could, easily, <laughs> you could easily Josh go, is going hey, into give his me job 20, 20 bucks, I'll show you my dick. <laughs> like, your dick right away can make you 20 bucks. Well, but it's, sure. a, it's a bit of I a mean, tight wire <laughs> act there because you also could just go to jail. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. not if the money's exchanged before the dick comes out. <laughs> I've thought this through. If I had a 10-inch dick, I could survive. I could make it. Um, so back to you at Kmart. So when you're at K- <laughs> yeah. So, so mom's like, you got to get a job. Like I'd worked at all these restaurants in town or whatever. Um, I wanted something I could walk. To. What are you getting fired for though? Before we jump into you getting you a job at Kmart. Yeah, I want to hear. Yeah. No, I want. So here's here now. Here's no. what I got fired for. This is. It's actually pretty embarrassing. So. General, because here's the thing: nobody just gets fired for something unless it's something that you did that nobody was expecting, and, and it is bad and fireable. I have a general "he should be fired" vibe sure. at every job yeah. I've ever had because I like don't. Two days in, it's like what's well, they know they, they, yeah. Because here's out. the thing: you know that week of like, oh, he's figuring it out, he's gonna use it. That's the whole time for me, <laughs> and it's on purpose, and I don't care because I have a. It's a problem, but thankfully. I'm like starting to do well enough in comedy that oh it's charming now but I um I cannot apply myself and absolutely refuse to apply myself to anything that isn't exactly what I want to do so you're accepting a job and reluctantly showing up but basically any chance you get to do whatever you want I you do literally it. catfish them into hiring me and then absolutely do nothing like I mean nothing dude I will and here's the thing too I I know how to be and treat people so I'm very very nice and at any point where someone correct me I'm like oh my god absolutely da, da, da. and I fucking gaslight them yeah, and then I just end. turn my back and I do nothing <laughs> it's the means to keep doing what you've been doing yeah I just yeah so so I go and I sit down and I'm I interview da, 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 get the job and then uh, instantly just start looking for like how do I cut corners here mm-hmm. how can I punch out 15 20 minutes earlier where where do I hide that's yeah. another thing too when oh, you get a yeah. job you go where are the oh, hiding spots yes. who's the other employee that doesn't give a fuck yeah, that right. I can become sure. best friends with who's the rat who's yeah it's who's complicit a whole, in my debauchery <laughs> yeah there's a whole thing dude so, finding that partner in the crime like at a job is like key because yeah. it's like you just drop little yeah. bit. Yeah. To well, like, you worked to, in you just uh, to find. 
restaurants. Yeah, I worked at tons so of like, restaurants. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Yeah. Corners. Yeah. Corners and restaurants is a huge thing. Like yeah. when you see somebody like cleaning up the like salad dressing like that, you're like, okay, I got to stay away from this guy. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? When you see somebody just like putting their hand into blue cheese crumbles and throwing it in, you're like, okay, mm-hmm. this guy. I like this guy. Dude, I, I'll tell you a story. There was a, I used to work at this restaurant in Jersey, and uh, they hired this kid who was like right out of juvie. And um, he was like, I was like, oh, you're a piece of shit. This will, oh, yeah. I'll hang out with you. I mean, I'm not like you, but like we're both going to try equally hard at this. Yeah. So uh, he's new, newer than me. So I'm kind of like showing him around or whatever. And so we got to polish silverware. And uh, when I would polish the silverware, you're supposed to take each fork individually and rub it down mm-hmm. and whatever and so i would just take all of them put them in a napkin pull like that <laughs> and then just toss them and so uh <laughs> so i'm telling him to do it like that i'm like don't fucking waste your time with this whatever so uh he's doing it one day and the owner comes in and sees him and just he's chastising him right away going in on him and he's like he's like well that's that's how i was taught to do it and he was like who taught you to do that i don't know how this kid made it through juvie because he immediately ratted me out he was like, he, like he probably learned like i just started writing some people and out. also like i was like so at the job i was like always like just on the the owner's good side because like he never saw me working he, yeah just when oh. i chat him up when i'm right. in and out and stuff so he really liked me so i'm like dude I'm like this is the exact type of shit that got him in jail like he's oh a piece God. of shit like that kid's a fucking liar dude you you can see me polish children. This guy's trying to turn his life around, and I give each fucking, fucking spoon a massage. Like fuck this kid, fires head. Just both throwing each other under the bus. <laughs> Sir, not only do I polish these, I individually do a quality check. If you can't back see your forward, reflection forward in this back. spork. Um, all right, so back to Kmart. So, um, so yeah, so. Um, here, here's what I got fired for being fireable, but also just one day, um, I didn't go in and, uh, they called me like within 10 minutes of me supposed supposed to be there. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm like, I'm dying. It's so bad. Like, and they're like, you get, you have to come in. You like, you didn't call us. You didn't tell us this is an emergency, whatever. Like you have to come in. Kmart. My well, managers. Okay, well, we'll be, well, let's let's game. Let's uh, chess game this. What would be as an employer their end game to making him come in? Is it because there's like a shipment coming in, and they're short a man? Right. Okay. So I should contextualize this a bit more. So they hire me as a uh, cashier. Okay. I uh, I'm very uncomfortable with money, especially other people's money. <laughs> I'm not like quick on my math feet. That's, I'm, I just like, uh, and then combined with, because here's the other thing too, like as comics and as like social people, we love shooting the shit and we love having inconsequential conversations because we're like, I can make this as funny as possible. We can have a good time and it doesn't matter. A captive audience. Great. Right. When you're a cashier though, the it matters oh, a yeah, lot. Dude. And also they want to have a conversation with you. Um, that you've had 500 times. So you don't want to keep doing it and it puts you in this fake, you got to be a fake person for a little while. That's only you can get through it. And it's also, the pre-programmed autopilot. Uh, right, right. Which I don't have yeah. a high no. capacity for mm-hmm. because like I can't. Low tolerance for that, <laughs> yeah, man. I can't, yeah. I can't do it, dude. It's like, so whatever. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with the job and I don't like the fucking technicalities of the I just feel like I'm gonna fuck something up and I feel yeah. like there's a time limit because this lady's about to buy her stuff and I leave. have dyslexia and one time I was a cashier at a job this lady comes in you know I ring her up I'm being very polite she's very nice she lives in my town she's like I remember you from high school she's like saying stuff to me and then I give her I start to give her, her like change back and the drawers close and she goes oh you know what I have a nickel to make it a like a whole amount but I didn't know what that meant because right. my dyslexia and I just started to be rude to her to try to get out of my shame of not knowing math and I was like I can't open it so you gotta take your change get out of here dude you stupid bitch you come and ruin my fucking you. day <laughs> she's like can I get the manager like, literally this is a woman who is complimenting me and then writing to can I get your manager's name well, that dude I fucking identify with that so hard because I don't know how to do the job whatever job I have I don't know how to do it so here's the thing I used to do at Buffalo Wild Wings like they want they had like I don't know why or how or maybe it was a different restaurant but it, there'd be like 10 specials and I didn't memorize them because I don't care so people would go like hey do you guys have the and I'd be like we're out of that and they're not we're not I just don't want to deal with that so I just go we don't have that <laughs> All the stuff you didn't know it was a special or not, you're like, so good. I think we're out of that one. 
You're a major corporation. You <laughs> like advertise across the nation. You're out of wings. Out of wings? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, we just fucking... <laughs> fucking some guy just out of came wings. in. <laughs> I like the idea of... Uh, out of wings? I like the idea of Nick at uh, Kmart, like, the first two days, like, just having, like... Four minute conversations mm-hmm. with people, and his line is just backed yeah. up. So the wall of matter is like, hey, what? Well, here's Let's another thing. Dude, they would be like, because you know, every person that comes to the cash register, you you have a script. You have to say, hey, would you like to sign up for our reward? Or do you uh, have a rewards card? You don't have a rewards card? Would you like to sign up for one? Here's we the all thing. Know you have I'm not fucking uh, sitting there to like put your address in uh, and get it yeah. wrong and then redo oh, it. Dude. And, then, uh, and also, I hate this and I don't want to extend our dialogue because I'm I'm nervous about scanning the apples and bagging the apples and then I'm going to drop a coin and then I'm uh, uh, oh th- okay I owe you 73 cents back can I just f- fucking, do you give a fuck about 73 like it's just so much the acquiring of too information and I remember I, f- I worked places where like yeah, yeah and the rewards yeah, yeah. and then if you get people to sign up you get like five extra cents in your penny bucket we didn't bucket. even get that just like dude I could go s- buy candy in bulk mm-hmm. and sell it on the subway and make right. my kid do it. <laughs> I would make more money than yeah. signing people up in rewards for a year. It's just, it's evil. Dude. I don't want that. I think they my had life. That TGI Fridays for a little while. And I was just filling them out. Oh, I would yeah. just oh, done that too. Yeah. See, yeah. by the time I worked there, they didn't have that kind of thing anymore. There's, they, they figured out that people were. So, anyways, so <laughs> they figured out that the Nick Callis of the world, what they were doing up. in generations before, straight up. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like Ed, you got another twenty membership cards today? I was like, it was dead in here, man. I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're not even doing the number math, get, dude. I used to get real lazy <laughs> with that kind of stuff. Yeah, like twenty two yeah. tables, the whole yeah, twenty two covers, and I'm like turning in twenty things. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so like people, I would. I would never ask people if they wanted to sign up for the membership card. And then one day a lady goes like, um, you didn't ask for my membership card. And so I'm just like, this system's down. And and that's yeah. the kind of thing I would do. I, oh, was yeah. like, I don't want to deal with this stuff. Little they can't debate with you on. Cause I it do also, love like, how quick Nick, I, I'm, oh, I with bet, an excuse. I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm a, you, you're pretty I'm sharp pretty with it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the, one of those dudes that's like, I'll go backstage at a concert. Just cause, You'll like I'll just like chat. The guy. I'll just you know I'll act like I have somewhere to be and that, that kind of stuff. I'm like I'm good in like high pressure situations. Mm-hmm. In That's that a great way. skill. Yeah. I mean, it's so much better than be able to make change. But also, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, fucking I'm completely register. inept at like anything that is like you know stuff like so life shit. So they they get they can tell that like I can't. I'm not good being up there. Like they think, like, oh, like look at this kid's got a nice face. Like he'll be blah blah blah. Yeah. That's why they put me up there. I hated it. I sucked at it. So one day, because there were too many cashiers up front, they put me, uh, like, to offload the trucks and stuff. And I fucking loved it because so it they was, demoted you. They straight up. And, it's the and same like, wage. I love it. It was the same wage, <laughs> yeah. but you don't have to talk to anybody. Oh, or that deal would be with the number. That's you just gotta shit. move. By. It's like a perfect guy job. Yeah. Like you just. Literally, dude, you get, you climb into, it's fun. You climb into a truck. It's like a jungle gym of boxes. You get as far as you can into the back, and then you just start hurling shit to your boy. Like, dude, it could be like you're throwing like a fucking poly pocket all the way. You could do whatever you're pretty, you're outside if you want to be. It's literally like a who's who of like shitty dudes. There's like a. Because people who are cashiers will come back. The people who are shitty in every department Uh figure out where to go for the back of the truck. Or they start. Start you there because they're like you have one tooth. You're not going in the fucking front, dude. So it was. It became their leader right when you showed up. It was like a TBS sitcom. It was like me, like a kid out of high school. There was one other college kid who's this, this Korean dude who uh, he did like fight choreography for like YouTube oh, videos. Sick. He was so cool. So we had shit in common. We would talk all the time. And uh, then there was a old, ma- literally an old man <laughs> whose name was Paul, and he, dude, I, no bullshit, he was like 87 years old, and he was like a slink, dude, like he had like one bone, it just went top to bottom, like and then like a couple hairs sticking off the top of his head, bro, and he was a he was a compulsive liar, pathological what liar. What if that was you in the future? It like, might <laughs> be, dude. It might and be. And you end up there meeting your young self again? <laughs> we never touched, but if we did, it would just explode. Bro, 
Bro, so this guy was amazing. Like, looking back on it, like, at the time, I hated him because he just annoyed me. But looking back on it, he's kind of an amazing human being. So this was his deal, dude. He told everyone that he was a billionaire and that the reason that he got a job at Kmart was that he's, like, bored and just wants to, like, fucking hang out. Which is <laughs> which is the dumbest <laughs> lie. Like, oh, really, dude? You didn't think you'd just get a yacht and go hang out in the ocean with a bunch of models? Like, you got a job I at keep my Kmart? humble roots. You're working a full bag. Asshole. You're working a full 35, Bob. Dude, it's like, it's so He's getting insane. yelled at by a 35-year-old. <laughs> so, 35, dude, I'm like 17. And I'm like, I'm oh, his you're boss. Fuck it up, dude. You suck. Here's the thing about Paul. He was so... He's the exact kind of person that you would feel really, really sorry for. And like take an interest in and, and he would endear himself to you except that he fucking sucked like yeah. he was annoying he would complain about shit he would like rat on us for just like whatever so everybody hated him and th this is the rest of the, the cast here so we got we got that guy there's a guy named Rob Dude, these are real names they might still work there they probably work there uh, Rob was like 52 uh, super fat sweaty like never brushed he was just a gross man and he was literally constantly talking about sex in the most <laughs> vulgar way possible. Right. And this is, dude, he had a flip phone. The iPhones are out. He's got a flip phone, and he has porn that he's recorded. Like, videos of himself and also videos of porn. Not the downloaded. <laughs> Not downloaded. He just well, watched it again. You know you got a real problem. <laughs> dude, so this man is, he's just oh. absolutely gross and also like you know if i'm hanging out my my buddy is like i'll talk about sex and stuff but this is a 52 year old man and i'm a kid and it, i've never talked to an adult in it that ain't way pedophilia about, but it's uh, pedophilia show, yeah. it, it's just he thought he was 16 and he thought he was they threw him in the fucking kmart garage and locked the door and then 50 years <laughs> passed and he's the same guy so dude he would be and he was he was kind of amazing and fun to work with because like I remember one time he was like watch this and so he goes out on the sales floor and we were like kept in the dungeon they didn't want us out on sure. the sales floor I, dude and we're I like don't blame sweaty Kmart. yeah they shouldn't <laughs> so so Rob and here's the other thing too about everybody else there was unfireable because nobody wants that job oh yeah and oh, they're right. the only ones that would do it right and uh, they were good at it they were yeah. just also weirdos yeah right. so he takes me out on the sales floor and he takes a thing of Tide. And he just breaks it, and then he throws it all over the ground. And then he goes, this will buy us about an hour. And then we just cleaned it and talked shit for an hour. And then he was telling me his ideas about how, like, you could slip on it and sue them. Like, it was the kind of shit that he, like, fantasized about, sure. but he never would do it. Yeah, but right. he would sh And he was yeah. so excited to have somebody to, like, show his ideas to. Because, yeah. yeah. like, I, w I might be his friend first friend I think like it was oh, wow. wow it was a fake friendship you were just oh, yeah. shining him on totally, to kill time bro. no he was like showing me videos of himself on his on his boat so he, like of him banging weird. yeah dude oh. and also I gotta say I'll never forget this I don't know why the chick was hot I don't know why. Uh, escort. Uh, yeah, escort. Probably a I mean, if imagine yeah. this. Imagine not having any financial responsibility for your whole life because you never had a girlfriend. Yeah. You never right. had really any friends. Yeah. So right. what are you doing every Saturday and Sunday? You're spending your paycheck on your rent. Right. And titty bars yeah. or escorts. Yeah. Yeah. And titty bars lead to escorts. Yeah. Because most of those girls, if they're your regular, like if you're a regular, most of them will offer an opportunity to go out on a date. It sure. just happens, especially if they know you have money. So. Sure. I used to work at a mail room and there was a FedEx guy that would come in and he would talk about going down to Costa Rica and just banging prostitutes. And he had all these pictures oh, on his phone. Same yeah. kind of thing. Like, and he's just showing. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, man, I just kind of just sign for these packages. <laughs> Dude, <yeah. laughs> Dude, it can makes I, me so on. One thing I've so learned weird. about myself <laughs> is that I'm a. Uh, I'm very hyperbolically sexual because I think also if like I talk about sex on stage, it's never me in the yeah, situation no. or the joke. I don't talk about it in that way. It's super hyperbolic. Like it'd be theoretical or hypothetical and it's very silly. I actually get kind of grossed out. Yeah. It's especially if somebody else, I don't think if my buddy tells me about a time he hooked up with a girl or whatever, but anybody else, I'm like, that is gross. I don't want to hear about I that. Think when I hit 20, 21, that started to be really gross. Like it used to be like kind of funny when you're a teenager to a certain right. extent. I mean, I, but I completely agree with you. I, and it's always those dudes that want to show you in the most, like, this, yeah. this is not the setting. Right. To sh yeah. open your phone yeah, 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 yeah. and show me, like, I had yeah. a guy, a comedian I knew once, and he would do a lot of, like, swinger shit. Mm -hmm. And because of uh, me, 
you know, he would just see me and he'd like, look at this. Yeah. Dude, uh, how, how do you dude, know where I, my headspace is yeah, right now? Right. Dude, I, I, don't a, see I have that. a very similar relationship at one point where this dude was, uh, he was older than me and he thought that because I was like a young dude, yeah. that's what my focus was all the time. But it was, I was vile. To yeah, me. It's yeah, disgusting. Yeah. It is really fucking weird. And I'm no like prude. I'm very much sure yeah, no, the totally. game, dude. But like, come on, we, we got to do shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> We got this delivery to unload. I mean, well, show me this like, shit. It's even subtle things too, or like, especially you hear this in LA all the time. Like a guy coming to be like, "Yo, you want to see this chick I went out with?" I'm like, "No, I don't fucking yeah. care at all." Yeah, isn't that funny how guys want to show you like that. an Instagram of yeah. a girl they went on a date like, with? Do you and you're think? just kind of like, yeah. "I don't care, dude." Yeah. You're like, well, whatever amount of points you think hot she is, that's how much cooler you think I am. I'm like, yeah, no, well, you yeah, already yeah, said yeah. that sentence, and now I think you're a tool. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're a fucking exactly right. Yeah, yeah. You just did the opposite of what, and that right. is a that's totally what I'm it the, is, I'm, right? Dude, I'm it's the like opposite. the guy, like I have like a guy trying to be cool. I'm like, nobody sees her ever. You don't brag about your blessings. <laughs> I was on an elevator one time. I was working at this ad agency, and you know, everybody wears suits to work. Yeah, like it's like a pretty high end. You know, working on Pepsi accounts, big fucking money, and I'm in this elevator and. uh this attractive girl. She gets off the elevator, and there's a guy from the mailroom. He goes, <laughs> "That's what it was." I was like, "There's someone else in here with us, dude." Yeah, and now I kind of love that. I can't even <laughs> lie. You got me like, and your shit. I don't know like, you, fuck, dude. Honestly, <laughs> how you thought you were in the mailroom with him? <laughs> this guy has to be a janitor. Look at his fucking dirt bag. He'll get it. Honestly, like, I oh. love that. I love that guy, and I also am that guy sometimes. <laughs> Not even because I mean it, just because I'm like, so I want to make a friend. And I'm dude, comfortable. I have a bit totally about it. Try, he was totally trying to make a friend yeah. with oh, that, the guy. Dude, yeah, that's yeah. all it is. It's yeah. actually very sweet and innocent. I have a bit about it. Um, but like, you, you ever be like walking down the street, and then you see a hot girl, and then you see a guy, and then you look at the guy to see if he saw the hot girl, and then you both just go, yeah, it's like oh, a hat yeah. tip. It's like, yeah, like, why are we doing that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah. going to like go to the mayor and be like, mayor, there were 48 <laughs> this time. Like, we saw, and then counts down by 10%, mayor. <laughs> right? Like, why are we keeping a lot? Stop shipping in these immigrants. We need more hot chicks here's in New York the, City. Here's the weird thing, too, is that sometimes I'll see a girl that I think I might be attracted to, and she walks by, and then I'll do this to double check if she's hot. I just do that to look for at no ass. reason. Well, there's there's that, yeah. and it's but why do you go? Oh, her face was that way. Let me see if her ass is nice. Like, what are we assembling? But isn't that great though? Like that is not either way. I'm, you're not going to go after her. So, okay, we're not allowed to be programmed to do that anymore. Right. Apparently, that's a facade. That was just for us to keep down women. But what I I do that, and I'm conscious of it. Like I don't want to do that. Yeah. But sometimes I can. It, Oh. It's training. I've had to train myself to not do that. Well, that's what I mean. I don't know why, but I have to check. It's insane. Oh. I have to check. I have to know. From, but what am I doing with that information? Yeah. Nothing. Just keep walking. And, I, and I'm sick like, of feeling shame from it, actually. Like grade school, like like from puberty on, like I used to go to a church and, you know, they have communion. Yeah. So every Sunday and even like uh, like when we had to go during school. You just you're just watching girls walk by. You're like, yeah. Dude, I yep. used to be ripping boners <laughs> in church. Yep. Totally. Oh, dude. Totally. I used to have to in church. I would totally. Be flipping my little dick <laughs> yep. up under my belt, strangling it, dude. You're like you're every girl. It's like a about parade church. of every yeah. girl oh. in the school is oh just walking God. past you. Yeah. I went to uh, catechism school like to get com confirmed. I quit. Oh, I yeah, hated like it so much. I was what they called it. My family's yeah. so dire Catholic. I put up. Dude, I put up a, such a fight that they let me quit. I'm, I still haven't been confirmed. Uh, not that I'm a practicing Catholic. But I, there was a girl. The only reason why I went for five classes, there was a girl who would wear overalls and like a halter top. And she had the most amazing looking breast that I'd ever seen at that point. Yeah, you're whatever, like, 15 you're like years old, 14, grade, whatever oh, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, right. I went later. But yeah. uh, massive boners in there. Mm -hmm. And there was something about it being church that made it even... Yeah. More well, also everybody erotic. looks nice and smells nice. Right. <laughs> Everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. puts on their best, yeah, right? Clean. Yeah, and right. it's very easy to be funny in church because the stakes are so high. You're oh, supposed to behave. And oh, be yeah, dude. oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. When you're with your friend, like when because I went to Catholic school, like when we were in like uh, school church, you know, like when we, on the school days, and it was all it was like just this high wire act of like who's gonna make the first joke and then it's just gonna be this cackling like just oh, yeah. Yeah. it's just it just whips around like wildfire yeah it's so Catholics, much fun you get your ass beat yeah. oh ass beat I remember my mom like I, we had to sit in the crying room time because I was fucking cutting up I'm probably 10 years old 
she beat my ass with a belt like oh. I've never. Oh wow! Been. And you know how some you ever hit your ass oh, beat with a belt? No. Oh yeah, my fuck! I hit. I, remember when the buckle gets you? Oh, oh man! Oh, she wow. had this. A, it was the 1989 or 90, right? Uh-huh. She had a fucking gold. It's like a swashbuckle, <laughs> bro. It's a WWE like belt. <laughs> she, I can. She had the Intercontinental Championship, dude. dude she I beat over the head with feel it. it. I can. <laughs> Feel, right? <laughs> bro. We used to get hit with a belt. My papu, my, my grandfather, would hit us with a belt, and my grandmother would hit us with a wooden spoon. Oh, Greeks it's, love to beat their we kids. Love, dude. It's like they there's something. About, you know what? How weird it feels to like get your ass beat and then sit down like with tears in your eyes to eat dinner. <laughs> it's the worst. Made with the fucking spoon <laughs> they beat your ass it's with. The sickest shit ever. It's so twisted. Oh. It's always before dinner. It's That's always before so dinner. Weird. Oh Every Sunday God. dinner, I remember, like, for two years, I remember, you brought up, it just smacked back in my mind, like, you're sitting there eating your spaghetti, fucking tears in your eyes, yeah. that face. <laughs> your grandmother just knocked the side of your head with just, a spoon. Bro, and also, let me say this, just like, my, dinner. my, my mom and my grandparents are the most beautiful people. Yeah. Like, the, the idea, dude, of my grandfather swatting a fly is unworldly to me. Like, I can't even picture it. Mm-hmm. We were such devils, dude. The fact that my grandfather ever even had to like raise his voice is unbelievable, right. dude. Like he he was literally the president of the church that we grew up in. I've, this man, he, okay, this is a man who was born in fucking a hundred years ago, whatever. And there were black people at his funeral. Like that's how good of a guy he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a right. immunity Greek immigrant. This guy. Yeah. 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 He was like yeah. he created the diner in my town. He was like the town watering hole. Like everybody loved this man, dude. He was the kindest fucking man. And there were a few times growing up where like he had to whoop my fucking ass. <laughs> and I think back on it. And I'm like, Isn't this funny? Like what it wasn't did child I do? abuse. This dude, kid's an asshole. No, 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 no. I dude, <laughs> if I could go back, I wish I could go back in time and represent him in court and be like, I'm that I'm that kid. He I deserved it. I don't know what I was doing. Dog, my mom do a couple times, like my mom, same thing. Hey, fucking angel woman. Uh dude, I don't know what the fuck I did, but I have these clear memories of just like Ching! Like fucking Catwoman, and just like coming across my face, dude. I don't. And sometimes it was like I'd be talking shit, and I think she wanted to take my mouth off just because of the fucking shit I was saying. <laughs> shit talking. I I can feel just like, just like <laughs> ah, fucking. That's how you break people like that, me, dude. Is your you hit a nerve? Yeah. Because I would yeah. talk, it, I would talk so much shit that I would press the wrong button. That's it. And that would get me. That's it. It's the one thing. And it's also this other up. thing too, where you're a parent and you're like, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like, whatever the conversation is, automatically, I'm your dad. So shut the fuck yeah, up. Like, right. do you? You're yeah. not even. You're been in a relationship where you're like, I don't feel like you appreciate that I made the dinner reservation. <laughs> it's like every. Uh, or do you, you have fucking shoes on? <laughs> your boy. Like, what do you mean? So when you argue with your own kid, you're like, dude, you don't even know that like sunlight and oxygen because of me. Shut up. <laughs> but like, you're witty. <laughs> and you get like sometimes like I'm sure this is like you too. I would say something that would a gr- if, like if I was a grown man, they would have punched me in the mouth. Like I would oh, find yeah. that oh, thing oh, yeah, yeah, that because yeah, yeah. I I was way too witty for my own good, and I had no fear because I was getting beat up so much that I just could knew I could take a beating. Right. And I would say the That's thing. That's a dangerous guy. Like, You're yeah. a problem. Be like dude, he doesn't care if he gets hit. And he yeah. would, like I remember one time my grandfather he. Uh, he fuck his fucking tooth fell out, right? Uh huh. And he's a Filipino Hawaiian guy, and because his pigeon English was so thick, like with the missing tooth, some of his like the words would sound fucked up. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, so I, I'm seven or eight. I for a whole day. It was the summer. I was raking him. I was calling him a jack o' lantern. Like I was going in. I was imitating the way he talked. Hey, bro, look, you missing your tooth? Oh, your teeth is gone. He hit me across uh. the, you know, because Hawaiian men will wear slippers inside. Uh-huh. He, I was doing it. It was about four p.m. I've been doing it from like eleven a.m. to four. He took his sandal off, thong sandal, and he hit me across the face, with it. like through the eye. Dude, it was like getting hit with a flipper. It's amazing because at some point you're eight years old. He's seventy-one. Oh yeah. He, at some point you crossed the threshold where you both became twenty-eight, <laughs> and he was like, "You about to get this mark." We became even for that hot yeah. second. We were. Yeah, even. He was like, "Cause dude, he did it." And the first time it was cute. Second time it's yeah, still he cute. The first couple. Then yeah, it was. Right. It, then yeah, it was yeah. like, "Hey, it's a little too good of an impression. I don't like it." And then, and then he recognized that you recognized it was upsetting to him, and then you doubled 
double down. Just, he was like, this motherfucker's <laughs> really trying to pull my bitch card. And then he took his fucking sandal oh, off. Right across my face. It was brutal. I had like a, a little bit of a black eye. And my uh, retina was like sore because the fucking, sa- you know, the sandal had oh, yeah. like a cargo thing uh-huh. for the toes. A little, right yeah. my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, my older brother, bro, my older brother used to fucking correct me. Like, he used to just, and also, you know, he was, uh, he's like four, five, five, four years older than me, and uh, I was such a little sensitive bitch boy, and he was like a jock, and, you know, what? for whatever reason we would find ourselves in an argument, if it came to blows, it wasn't we fought, it was he yeah. lined me up, yeah, he just set the and phone. he also, like, Knew what he was doing. Like, he would fucking piece me up, dude. Oh. Like, I, I, I know how to fight just because he kicked my ass oh, yeah, yeah, so right. much, yeah. dude. Yeah. And, oh, my God. I remember one time, my little brother, this was insane. So, uh, my little brother, he's the youngest. And my older brother and him, like, always kind of bonded because he was the new one. When you, you have a younger sibling, yeah. it's like, oh, they're taking the attention. But at this point, my older brother's more grown, so yeah. he, like, takes a liking to my younger brother. And because my older brother is the oldest, my younger brother loves him because he's so cool. Oh. And I also... They You're the middle, the middle guy. I'm the middle guy. in the fucking I cult. like drawing and comic books and animation and stuff. So it was always kind of me v them. <laughs> so one time, we all get into this argument, and uh, my little brother... He was never scared of anything. Like you could, dude. We used to take a pillow, and we would take the. It was like one of those like feathery pillows that you could condense into like a fucking marble, and we put it at the bottom corner of the pillowcase and just oh, just tie it up. Oh, and like dude, we used to just fucking sock, dude. Just baseball swing uh. at my little. So my little brother got like little stick figure body and just a big ass head. <laughs> And, dude, we used to just fucking try to take his goddamn head off. And this kid would just be like, (laughs) (laughs) like he was fucking immortal, dude. And I think it was just pure willpower and wanting us to think he was cool. So this one, by the way, he was a skinny little kid. He's 6'4", brick shithouse now. And I I honestly think it was just because we beat his ass. That's it. So, dude, we would be taking his fucking head off. It was like evolution decided you got to get bigger and stronger if you're going to live in this house and and survive. And also, so my brother's brother's 5'10", I'm 6 foot, and then my youngest brother. So in that order, we get, it's like the genes figured it out on the third try. (laughs) It's like Michael Jordan brothers, Larry is 5'10". Yeah, (laughs) dude. So, so, I'm like arguing with my little brother. He's like, I don't know, dude, three years old. I'm like seven. We're arguing over like batteries for a walkie talkie or something. And uh, I uh, I like rip him out of his hands. And then I turn around and we had like a bin that you put like basketballs and baseball mitts in. And there's a there's an aluminum black magic baseball bat. And I'll never forget it. Oh. I have no idea. I'm walking inside. My little brother takes it out and just full fucking just Ken Griffey just cracks me in the back of the head, dude. And I think it made me a comic. Like, it's fucking (laughs) dog. I literally, like, was like... I mean, like, that didn't scramble your shit. I don't know. Oh, dude, it, I, it, I'm a different guy. I'm a different guy than who I was supposed to be, dude. <laughs> it fucking put me in Kmart. Like it was a whole fucking straight up, dude. I got memories from Japan. It was like fucking nuts. It split him between him and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I have never you know when people say like oh he got wrong I know what it means yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he Notre Dame my oh, shit oh yeah dude. that's insane and an aluminum cause bat. my little brother like he, cause also you know they say like little kids like they don't know their own strength like my little niece now like she'll hug her younger brother who's six months like too hard cause yeah. she loves him yeah. or they'll, they'll bite too hard this kid not only like didn't know his own strength also recognized he could do damage and thought that was cool. Yeah. So he just felt, you could also take this kid, dude. There's something about little kids, you could throw them in a fucking wood chipper, they just like <laughs> pop back together. Like they're fucking immortal, dude. Yeah. My little brother would just, he would just get like thrown down the stairs and ragdoll and he'd be like, ha ha, like he's like, fine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you get fired from Kmart? <laughs> Here's why I got fired from Kmart. I actually hit a kid, no. Uh, <laughs> With the baseball bat, <laughs> so dude, I'm in the I'm in the back doing uh, soft line. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just not working. I'm taking like it's just clear vibe that like I am not good at this. Don't care. And, and also you, are in the back at that point, like what a year, six I'm months, not even three close, months. Dude, it was you're going like, before college. It's right? summer, so it's like maybe two months. Okay, it's towards the end of the summer. So uh, I was a virgin until the summer going into the college. Nice, because I thought real nice. It's gotta matter who I pick. That nothing matters. No. So uh, I I had a 
crush with this girl that we were doing a short film together. Mm -hmm. And uh, she like calls me one day and she's like, hey, like, I want to pick you up. And maybe we talked about sex or something like that. And so like for whatever reason, I knew this was the day. My mom was like, uh, I don't know, somewhere. So I was like, this is the day. So I just was like, fuck it, I'm not going to work. And I'm not even going to tell them because I don't care. Like, yeah. what, do you fire me? You don't even have to tell me you fired me. I'll just stop going. <laughs> like, I don't care. You should have called Rob and been like, hey, I'm getting late. Can you make an excuse for me? Hey, take a video. Here's my phone. Here's a flip phone. I got an extra flip phone for you, Nick. I got an extra flip phone. Swing <laughs> by. Proud. Swing by. I'll be on back on the dock. I should have asked him to put in a word. I'll be on the dock. <laughs> So I so I stay home. I have sex for the first time. Terrible. Nice. Very bad. Still trash. Still like great. sick. Dope. Yeah, still but, great. Yeah, yeah. So they, they call me the next day and they're like, you have to come in and talk to us. So my manager's name was Sosie. And she was a little Russian woman. She was like uh, this big uh, and um, like probably 68. And so I go in to sit down and uh, she goes, Nick, uh, I'm such a shithead. She goes... Uh, Nick, you're being terminated, and then I and I thought this was genius. I went, I'll be back, <laughs> and then she goes, she she didn't see Terminator, dude, she didn't live in rubles, yeah, <laughs> waste in line for bread, and she came to this country. <laughs> She she broke her back for this job. Nick she sleeps on an old pasta box. Like she don't fucking know. Which I and I don't know why this is like says a lot about me that in that moment I could have been like no I'll try harder. Da, 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 da. But I was just like it's more valuable to say this joke. Yeah. So <laughs> so 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 she so I go I'll be back and then she goes. You no, you won't be back. You're f <laughs> you're fired. You don't you don't work here anymore. You and won't I be back. I don't know why. I think at this point I was like, it's so far gone. It doesn't even matter. So I was like, no, it's uh, well, don't say you're terminated if you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. And she at this point she's like, what is she's happening? Like, Get out of my like, office, dude. I got fuck? so much to do. <laughs> so she fires me, but she like wants repercussion. Like she wants me to like talk about it with her. And I was like, oh, I don't know, no, like. There's no exit interview I'm gonna, for the doc. I'm going to shop here the second I walk out of your office. Like, what do you mean? Like, this is Kmart. I'm never going to be embarrassed to come in here. Yeah. It's, it's insane. Insane. <laughs> <It's laughs> uh, I fucking love it. Nick, where are you? What? Tell us about the special a little bit and tell us where people can find yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, appreciate that. So I shot, um, I shot my special. It's called Wolf Pup. Where'd you shoot it at? I uh, shot it at the... Creek and Cave in Austin, oh, Texas. Cool. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, awesome place. Everybody there is great. Um, so we shot uh, we shot back in September, and then it's coming out this month. I don't have an exact date yet, which is stupid on my part. But follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Nick Callis, and then you'll you'll see all that there. Um, I'm super stoked about it, man. It's my, it's my first special, and uh, I am. it's the thing I'm most proud of. Yeah, I think great. it really how like, it should be, right? represents me yeah. as a mm -hmm. comic. I'm excited mostly for comedians that I've known like you guys for like years to see it because I think it's the best representation of me that I've ever recorded yeah it's like, like, like all oh, cylinders are firing yeah, off dude that's like a great it's, feeling it's yeah. all, all the the physical bits and the act outs and just like this shit I care about it's all there and I uh I I cut it uh myself with with one of the editors there like we sat together and we did it there's a there's like graphics and like some sound effects there's like some cool shit in there it's different it's like yeah. a, it's stand up but it's a it's got a little more of me twist than yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Dude. That's really Congratulations, cool. bro. I love that, Thank man. You. That's great. Yeah, that's Appreciate exciting. it. Uh, you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com for all tour dates. We're going to be in Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, right. Uh, I'm headlining the Winterfest for the second year in a row. Eddie's coming with me again. We're going to blow that shit out of the water. What's the date on that? Friday, February 16th, Winterfest, Newport, yeah. Rhode Island. Uh, you can get tickets on my site or go to the Reef where it's going to be at. Um, but yeah. Awesome. And then follow me uh, on Instagram at EdmundGowanComedy, EdmundGowan.com for all my tour dates. Email us. Send yes. us an email. Working class comedians at gmail.com. Tell us about your job. Tell us about the show. Tell us about whatever you want to talk about. You got a flip phone with porn on yeah. it? Yeah. So you got a flip phone with porn. <laughs> Mail it to us. If you worked at the Kmart I worked at and you see this. Hit me up. I'll send you tickets to your show. Hell yeah, dude. I'd love to see Full you. circle. How you guys Paul, doing? Paul, if you're still alive. Paul, it's a Target now, so... Maybe they stuck behind. They they switched over. Company they, men. There's no way that the Target would meet those guys and go, yeah, we're going to onboard you. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep these guys. Dude, so, you ever wanna talk? Wait, dude, you're a billionaire? Yeah, you can come along. Wait, is this just <laughs> me? Is this just me, or is it when we were a kid, every couple aisles had its own guy? They're just like, oh, it's a toy department yeah, yeah, guy. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Dude, you walk around Target, it's like fucking dystopia. There's yeah. just shit, and you go, okay, I'll buy this. There's uh, no one to no, help you. Nobody. Not necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> People are no longer necessary. <laughs> Let's talk to you guys next week. All right, see ya. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.